Sydney and we're at the beach today. Hey, and I'm Rennie and we're kind of not at the beach, but we kind of wish we were. Yeah. Well, no, I, I think we're pretty well, we're happy. We've got sand here. We're at the sand pit and we are getting ready. Uh, it's just pre-launch at the Quell event. We're back after two yeah. years yeah, of finally. being gone yeah. and you know, all this COVID stuff and everything else, but uh, really excited, but we've got some fun to share with you. Yeah, so we are working on a VW bus here today and it has super dirty tires. So we are gonna be using the double black Shine All today. So Rini, what do you like about Shine All? You know, Shine All, I think a couple different things. It's really simple, it's self levels, but as a car guy and as a professional detailer, it's really cost effective. Yeah, yeah. And so before we put any tire dressing on, what do we need to do? You know, prep is a big thing because a lot of people will just go through, they'll wash their car, and they kind of leave the tires alone. But there's a reason that we build up brown on tires and so forth. And part of that is, is that the tires never get clean. So you want to clean them before you dress them. Yeah, so we are going to use Brake Buster today. Brake Buster is not only a tire cleaner, but it's also a wheel cleaner. So we're just going to spray it on and we will start to see that browning melting right off the tire and a lot of people think well that's old tire dressing it's a lot of different things tire compounds will absorb a lot of pollutants you got to think of what that tire action is doing and so forth uh, a lot of times it is the old dressing but it's a lot more than just that so we're going to agitate it now so you're going to go through and kind of agitate it and by doing this instead of just spraying it on you know if you're going out for a quick drive and you just want to do a quickie you can just take and go ahead and hit it and rinse it off but in this case this tire is really dirty, and so Sydney's going to take an agitate a little bit. What that's going to do is allow us to get deeper, and the tire dressing, when we put Shine on it, it's going to last a lot longer and look a lot better. And since we are out here on the lawn, we don't have a water source, but the great thing about Brake Buster is it can literally just wipe off. So I have an Edgeless 365 from the Rag Company, and we are just going to wipe that product off with all the browning. Look at that. And you can see the difference right off the bat. And that was that was completely waterous. Now, you can use it with your garden hose or a pressure washer. It's gonna actually work a little better that way. But in the event that you're in a spot, well, voila, look at that, we made it work. Now that we have the tire prepped, we're gonna put on the Shine All. So I like to use a red foam applicator and we're just gonna load up the applicator with the Shine All. All right, so Sydney's gonna take in your seat. She's gonna kind of massage it into the tire a little bit. So one of the things is you've got that tire nice and clean now is don't just put it onto the surface. Now you spray it on and leave it if you want to, but you could get some sling back and so forth. Now sling is really important too because a lot of people will take and dress their tire to get a lot of sling. A clean tire is not gonna sling near as much, not gonna fling up onto the paint, it's really gonna look better. So we just kind of like to massage it into that tire. You can see it's got a nice natural glow to it. The other thing is, is we can take and adjust. Now this is ready to use, meaning in the core size, but the professional sizes, you can actually use this one-to-one, -one, even full strength, yeah. if you want to get a lot more shine. Yeah. Another great asset with the yeah. product. Yep, the other nice thing is if you have it and it's too shiny on the tire, you can always take um, any of towel and just buff it down and it will kind of turn into a more natural shine, but you get that UV protectant and the nice black rich color out of the tire. Gwyn. I'm Randy Doyle. We hope that you really enjoyed this video series, not only on how to prep the tire, but how to dress the tire. Yeah. So if you like this video, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and stay tuned right here on the PNS YouTube channel. See ya.